Hello parents and carers of children in year two at Art Victoria Academy. This video has been put together to help to support you uh, to read effectively with your children at home. So I hope that you'll find it to be a useful resource. In year two, there are three different books that your child will bring home with them uh, as part of their home reading. The first book is their Read Write Inc. book bag books text. Uh, now, if you look carefully on the front cover, you'll see the logo here, Book Bag Books. This is the main home reader that your child should focus upon. These books are great because the sounds in the story are matched to the phonics that your child has been taught in school. So they should be able to focus on decoding fluently and developing their comprehension with these books. So the Book Bag Books are the perfect text for your child to be practicing their reading with at home. In addition, your child will also have an Oxford Reading Tree Home Reader, which looks like this. Again, look out for the Oxford Reading Tree logo on the front cover. These are also matched to your child's reading level, so they should be used as an additional supplementary text, um, remembering that the book bag books is their main text. Finally, your child can choose a book from the library. So that's a text that's not necessarily matched um, but it's a book that they've chosen to read for pleasure um, and for their enjoyment. So perhaps based upon their own interests or something that they've, they'd like to read themselves. In a moment, as an example of how you might read at home with your child, you'll see an example of a video of myself reading with one of our year two pupils, Amira. Firstly, make time and space to read with your child at home. You might choose to begin by looking at the front cover. Ask your child to read the title. Ask them what they can see on the front cover, what this makes them think about, perhaps what the story could be about. Get them to link any relevant background knowledge that they might already have about the topic of the story. Perhaps any books that they've previously read that might remind them of this particular front cover. Okay, Myra, really looking forward to reading with you this afternoon. Can you read the title for me? Dog school. Fantastic. And looking at the front cover, what can you see? There's a dog with a pink bow, also with a pink collar. Also there's a dog looking angry outside the door and the window. And also there. And there is a dog trying to escape from its owner and its tail is whacking. And, and How do you know? I'm just going to stop you there because you've pointed out so many things that you can see on the front cover. What made you say the dog's trying to escape? How do you know that? He's running. It looks like he's running, doesn't it? And his tail's whacking. That's what all dogs do when they run. Having discussed the front cover together, next look at these story green words. They can be found inside the front cover of your story. There's an example of what they look like on the slide here. They're called green words because they follow the rules and the sounds that your child has already been taught at school. So your child should be able to decode them, should be able to read them, by using their phonics knowledge. For example, if we look at the first word, the child would be able to read it by sounding it out like this. Jarvis. Jarvis. Notice how some of these letters are underlined. So, for example, sh in sheepdog. And that's because there are two letters which make one sound. Sh, e, p, d, o, g, sheepdog. If your child struggles to read these, you can help them by asking them to sound it out. If they read any words incorrectly, prompt them to sound the word out. And if they still struggle to read the word, ask them to read it back to you. Your child can practice reading their story green words until they're able to read them quickly and accurately without needing to sound them out. We're going to have a look at our story green words, OK? So can you have a look at the green words here and read them as quickly and accurately Jarvis. as you can? Good, good. Sheepdog. OK, let's sound it out. Have a go at sound. Good. Bulldog. Good, well done. Sheep. It's not an E sound, there is an E sound. Sh Shep. Ep. Shep. Bill. Good. P. Ap. 
Pippas. K M A N D E. Commanded. 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 My turn. Commanded. Commanded. Good. In the next clip, you will see that practicing her story green words again helps Amira to read them with greater speed and accuracy. Great, now you've read your story green words. We're going to try them one more time, and this try time we're going to try them and read them a Jarvis. little bit quicker. Good. Sheep dog. Bulldog. Sh Sh Bill. Pippa. Having read the story green words, ask your child to read the red words. Red words are so called because the letters represent unusual sounds. So the children often have to learn to recognise these letters in order to read them quickly and accurately. And you'll see in the video which follows that Amira is able to do just that. Okay, let's look at our red words then. All. That's in. Yeah, that's right. All. Was. You are. Good. After you've read the story green words and red words, you're ready to begin reading the story together. Make sure that you don't read the story to your child first. Instead, your child should read first. This is so that they can practice their decoding. As they're reading, point to the words. If your child struggles with a word, prompt them to sound it out. And if they're still unable to read it, you can read the word to them, ask them to repeat it, and then practice in the sentence. My job, Jarvis, is a bad dog. He must go to classes at dog school. Brilliant, that was much better, Amira. Okay, carry on. Let's start today, said Dad. Not fair. When you read this word here, Myra, you read fair. It's not fair. It's not the air sound. Far. Good. Well done for correcting yourself. Okay, I'm going to reread the page to you and then we're going to talk about it together. Following with your finger. Ready? My dog Jarvis is a bad dog. He must go to classes at dog school. Let's start today, said Dad. It's not far. Dad parked in the car park and we went in. Why has Jarvis got to go to dog school? Because he's a bad dog. Okay, and why do you think Dad thinks they should start today? Because he must go today or he's going to be naughty again. <laughs> okay, perhaps he'll be naughty again. Next said, call the dogs. We'll fetch this screen ring. Fetch sheep the Sheepdog fetched the ring. Beautiful reading there, Myra. Just be careful here, you said sheep the sheepdog. Sheep. Well done, good. Carry on. Bill the bulldog fetched the ring. Ring. Pepper the Posh dog set the ring. Good. Here, it's not pepper, it's an, not an air sound, it's an... Pippa. Good, well done. Read the whole sentence again. Pippa the posh dog fetched the ring. Hang on a minute. So Shep, Bill and Pippa all fetched the ring like they were supposed to. And then Carl tells Jarvis to fetch the ring. What do you think might happen? I can tell by looking at the picture. Go on then, tell me. He not instead of catching the ring, he catched. He ran to the bin and then um, he opened the bin and then he got a paper and then then it landed on her and then her tongue is sticking out. Then there's like bruises on her or something and then the smell come from her and her eyes are shut. And then he bring it to the man, and the man is wedding. Okay, so you've 
put that into a very, very long sentence using the conjunction and lots of times. Can we sum that up in no more than a couple of sentences? So we're not using and. What do you think will happen next? Um, I think Jarvis will. Jarvis will. <laughs> instead of getting the ring, he's going to run to the trash can and get a paper out of it. Then it's going <laughs> to drop on the posh dog. Good. That's a really good prediction. When you reach the end of the story, you'll find three sections towards the back of the book. Questions to read and answer. Illustrations to prompt your child in retelling the story. And finally, questions for you to chat about together with your child. Let's see what that looks like. Now we've read the story together. Should we have a go at reading these questions? Yeah. OK, go on then, Amira. Jarvis must go to the Park Dog School, the vest. So the park, Jarvis must go to the park, dog school or the vets. Which of those is the correct answer? Dog school. The dog school. Good. Well done. Great. That was beautiful reading, Amira. Should we have a go at retelling the story together? Yeah. Using the illustrations. Good. Okay. My turn first. Um, so I can see that Jarvis is a bad dog. So Dad says that Jarvis has to go to dog school. Yeah. Can you tell me what's happening in the next part he of the story? He stood in the line, then he was being still a bad dog because he's laying down, and the person told him to sit when he's lying down. Good. Bad dog. After that, I can see that the I know that um, Jarvis had a fight with the bulldog. No, that's the fight. Okay, go on then. Tell me about it. Jarvis had a fight with the bulldog. You're right. After that, Jarvis was told to fetch a green ring, but... Instead, he fetched a piece of smelly paper. He did, didn't he? Why do you think the boy says that Jarvis is the best dog? Because he's still a little bit good dog. When because you answer... it's his dog, and he thinks he's the best dog. Okay, good. When you answer, can you try and answer in a full sentence? So you... Uh, Jarvis the, boy, thinks, the boy thinks that he's the best dog because he's still a little bit good and it's his dog, so he, he thinks that his good is the best in the class. You explained that beautifully. Well done, Amira. That was fantastic. Okay, I loved reading with you this afternoon. I'm looking forward to reading with you next time. Reading like this at home every day with your child will have a huge impact on your child's reading and on their overall learning. Remember, as you do so, to fill in your reading record so that your child's teacher can see how you're getting on with reading at home. As well as reading your child's home reader with them, remember to read stories to them that are beyond the level they can read themselves. This will really help your child to enjoy stories and want to become a reader themselves. Hopefully you found this video useful and thank you very much for your continued support.